Hi there, Bob Anderson here talking about property development. I thought we might have a little discussion today about the different types of properties that you can actually develop and do very well from. I guess if you start right at the beginning, uh, some people think, uh, oh, you buy a block of land, you build a house on it, that's property development. No, it's not. It's building a spec house. And the reason for that is you're not really adding any value, you're not creating any more lots. So in my opinion, where property development starts will be something like what we call a splitter. Now, a splitter is simply a very small subdivision where you subdivide one lot into two lots. That's pretty well where property development starts. And a lot of people on their first projects uh, might well do something just like that with a splitter. Uh, of course, once you've cut one lot into two lots, there's a few options there. Uh, you could sell both the lots, uh, or you could build a house on both the lots and make some extra money, or you could sell a vacant lot and build on the next one, roll your profit over. So uh, even a little splitter there, uh, there's quite some good options of making money. Uh, taking a step up from there, uh, if you like what we call a subdivision, but although a splitter is technically a subdivision, uh, I always think about it of, you know, when you've got more lots. And uh, in fact, the, for the first four years of my property development career, all I did was land subdivision. That's all I did. I didn't build anything. I didn't build houses or apartments or anything and did quite well out of just subdivisions. Uh, now taking a step up from that would be something like a duplex. So we moved from not just subdividing land now, we're actually going to build a building. Uh, everybody's familiar with duplexes. They're just basically two houses, usually joined together with a common wall. Uh, and at the end of that, uh, in most cases, you would subdivide it into two separate units uh, and, and either sell or keep them. And uh, that's another good entry level. It's time a little bit more complex than a splitter because we're actually building. So uh, we're getting design done, we're getting builders involved on that. Uh, another step up uh, onto townhouses. Now townhouses, uh, pretty well called townhouses in most parts of Australia, uh, mostly are attached. So normally you've got some buildings, some dwellings that are attached. Like so technically, townhouses don't actually have to be attached. They can even be detached. Uh, and townhouses, well, pretty much, uh, if you like, a step up from duplexes. I normally think of townhouse developments from, say, three upwards. Uh, almost no limit, really. There's some very large townhouse projects in the hundreds, but anything from three up will be townhouses. Uh, when they're a single level, uh, we often refer to those as villas. And when they're two levels, or maybe even three in some cases, I refer to those as townhouses. And even a small townhouse project is not a bad way to start. You could buy a house, you could drop uh, two townhouses in the backyard perhaps, something like that. Now, a little bit more complex from townhouses is apartments. Sometimes we call them units. Uh, if we're in America, we might call them condos. Uh, but I'll just call them apartments. Now, what's different, of course, be, uh, between an apartment and a townhouse is that when you're cutting the buildings into separate titles so that you can sell them off individually. With townhouses, the title is separated vertically through the party wall and around the perimeter wall of the townhouses. When you've got apartments, uh, the actual title is separated in two directions. So you're separating vertically between one apartment and another, but you're also separating horizontally between one apartment uh, above another, above another. And uh, so a little bit different, a little bit more complex on the titling. Uh, and in most cases, uh, the construction on apartments is more complex. It's more a heavier type of construction. Uh, of course, that's just residential. Uh, if you want to move on to commercial, of course, we've got uh, commercial developments, which typically are sort of offices, uh, office blocks or small offices. That's typically commercial. We've got what we call retail, which is shops. It could be something simple like a little strip shop, three or four shops in the suburbs, of course, all the way up to big regional shopping centres. And the other third type of commercial type developments is what we call industrial. So it could be something like uh, little warehouses or sheds or that sort of thing. So three types of commercial. Uh, and uh, there's also what I call specialised developments. And I'll, I've done pretty well out of these. There's basically three types of specialised. They are a form of residential. First of all, we've got holiday accommodation. Now, I'm not big on holiday accommodation because it's not tied to the normal real estate market. It has a lot to do with the Australian dollar, has a lot to do with employment rates and all sorts of things, and can be uh, very hot and cold. Uh, so I try to avoid that. But another one uh, of specialised, if you like the type of specialised development, is student accommodation. And I love to do those near universities or TAFE colleges or those sorts of things. And quite often I'll do a four bedroom townhouse near a uni because they're great for renting room by room and it's a great way of getting your rental yield up uh, if you can rent 
uh, room by room. So student accommodation, always good. And uh, the other thing is retirement. Uh, now, generally retirement villages, or if you like, are fairly large, although you can do some specialised retirement, uh, maybe even four or five townhouses that are targeted specifically at retirees, and that could be quite profitable too. So, as you can see, there's lots and lots of types of developments that you can get involved in. Uh, probably better off starting smaller rather than larger, uh, but as you gain in knowledge, as you gain in momentum and make more contacts, you can step up in the size of your projects and the complexity. Uh, whatever it is, there's lots of money to be made out of property development at any level. This is Bob Anderson saying, see you soon.